the end of time, at that time the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom, five of them were foolish and five were wise, the foolish ones took their lamps but did not take any oil with them, the wise ones, however, took oil in jars along with their lamps, the bridegroom was a long time in coming and they all became drowsy and fell asleep, at midnight the cry rang out, here's the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps, the foolish ones said to the wise, give us some of your oil for our lamps are going out, no, they replied, there may not be enough for both us and you, instead, go to those who sell oil and buy some for yourselves. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived, the virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet, and the door was shut, later the others also came, Lord, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, truly I tell you, I don't know you, therefore keep watch, because you do not know the day or the hour, beloved, I remember after my preaching, Jesus showed me in the vision, a bottle of olive oil, a lamp, an olive, a burned out lamp, a burnished lamp, and a piece of electric wire, I asked Jesus, what is that? He answered, the church is the light and the bottle you saw is the anointing. The lamp is every person and the light that shines within it is the Holy Spirit that shines within each of them, the electric wire that gives energy to each lamp to light is my anointing, the servant who does not have my oil will be put out, I am like the electric energy that I offer light to the lamps, tell the lamps that are extinguished to shine in the darkness, it is time for them to ascend, the end is near, tell the bulbs that are going out that they have to have enough olive oil in their reserves. By the time the oil runs out they will have more oil in their reserves to burn, the world is in darkness, be lit and make a difference, only these lamps will attract the bridegroom at the time of the separation of the tares and the wheat, the lights on them you saw are my seal in their lives, the mark of the Holy Spirit, tell the church to fill with my oil that is my strength within them and that will make them shine, I have a very strong bond with my bride on earth, that is why the demons did not destroy the earth. The bridegroom wants the bride by his side and will prepare her to bring near to me, and make her heiress, it will not be long, the bridegroom will appear to free her whom he loves from this world of darkness, I have already demonstrated my love on the cross of Calvary, making a high price, rescuing, washing, purifying and sanctifying, the spirit of the Antichrist, I had a vision of a sword knight, in black armor, he was meeting in hell with the demons. The knight was empowered with the powers of darkness, his mission is to bring the greatest number of souls to hell and make life difficult for those who resist his authority, the Holy Spirit said, this warrior you see will declare war on the saints and will be the greatest spiritual warfare of all time, the sword that is in his hand means the word of the lie that will cause the spiritual death of his worshippers, and for those who do not prefer to follow Jesus, will cause physical death, in the vision. I saw when this knight was behind a spiritual wall and passed by entering our world, and when that happened he was no longer a knight, but a man, I could not see the face of this man for God's sake, but I saw his body from the neck down, an elegant and good looking man, very different from Jesus when he became incarnate on earth and was born in a manger, the son of humble parents, this man is extremely intelligent and rich with a speech that could persuade the world population. Today the church is at war against what is spiritual, but the day will come that evil will cease to be spiritual and will reveal itself in person and the eyes of the whole world will see him, the personification of evil will lead the greatest spiritual battle ever against the church, and it will be a bloody battle, the Bible say, he will speak out against the Most High and oppress the saints of the Most High, intending to change the set times and laws, and the saints will be given into his hand for a time and times, and half a time, but the court will convene, and his dominion will be taken away and completely destroyed forever, on hearing these words, I heard the sound of trotting horses, the voice said, it is the cavalry of hell invading the earth, all the torment of hell has risen to the earth, the earth will now be the hell of suffering, the prince of darkness has taken over the government of the world, he said, let's reign, it'll be hell on earth people began to look for Christians to pursue, the Christians were frightened away, they fled so as not to die in this great persecution and genocide, 
the world and the government were against us, the era of the martyrs began, they will be human sacrifices for Jesus' sake, they would offer their blood to eternal life, shedding their blood for Jesus' sake, as Christ did on the cross of Calvary, that was the form of retribution they made for Jesus, many Christians were killed by persecution, when they were alive they could not stand, the Christians groaned in pain, they could not stand it any longer, and they cried a lot. The trumpet rang and the remnants disappeared, I saw in a vision the lights rising to the sky and disappearing, the world was filled with darkness when these lights disappeared, when these lights disappeared, the world grew darker, totally filled with darkness, I saw a black hole that opened on the floor, black shadows were coming out from inside, the sky turned red, nature was inverted, it felt like it was turning against us, the Bible say, Pray that your flight will not occur in the winter or on the Sabbath, for at that time there will be great tribulation, unmatched from the beginning of the world until now, and never to be seen again, those days had not been cut short, nobody would be saved, but for the sake of the elect, those days will be shortened, then a voice said, the heaven is disconnected from the earth, there is no connection with humans anymore, all were abandoned, the Holy Spirit was taken away the bond with the earth was cut off, what made the heaven to be connected with the earth, was the church while still on earth, Jesus took his own, people sought out Christians who had disappeared and despaired of not finding them, these people were dull lamps that stayed on the ground, Jesus broke the bond with them, the connection was broken, the mediator Holy Spirit was taken away, grace has ended, there was no more covenant with the rebels, the bride has been taken away, the covenant of salvation is over, now the judgment of the lake of fire is approaching, after these visions and revelations, I went to the church saying, I mean for all the brothers who are living torches of God, keep them alighted so they do not go out, you are live fiery coals, from the altar of the Most High, and you are in this world to shine, when the bridegroom has come, he will take those who are alight in his presence, Jesus showed me in the vision, many torches fading, I saw many dim lamps covered by darkness because of sin, and where there is no light on, the darkness prevails, the Lord will not take the ones who are blotted out by darkness, many are called and few are chosen, the separation will leave the tares and carry the wheat, only the lighted lamps that will be taken from the earth, for their brightness will attract the master to his meeting, these are the stars that shine in the darkness of the night and embellish the dark sky. The Lord showed me in a vision devils enthroned in the minds and hearts of the governors, their hearts were dominated to put laws of persecution to the Christians, their evil minds were controlled to surrender the world into the hands of the future Antichrist, I also saw the multiplication of sin and demons reigning over the life of every person who was not converted, many did not want to give up sin and pluck sin out of their life by force, the kingdom of Satan was upon the lives of many brethren through sin church, give no place to this kingdom, take it out of control of your lives, free yourself from the evil system of this world, dethrone the demons that work in your life, free yourself from the influence of the world, put Jesus as king on the throne of your life, let Jesus rule your life, take control and let the Holy Spirit reign in your center, turn away from sin, temptations, and pleasures. The Lord showed me an army of demons for the future government of Satan on earth. He took the mental control of the people with his mark, 666. The governors received the future emperor of the new world order, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand, or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast or the number of his name, then I went down to hell with the angel, he told me, today we are going to visit a part of hell, the abyss, the angel and I entered hell and then we went into a different place, in that place, there were no souls and no demons tormenting souls, it was a dark place without fire and a legion of angels trapped in that place, they were not demons but angels who have sinned in the past and were in an abyss, I came near an angel, he looked at me with great hatred and tried to grab me but the chains held that angel, preventing him from catching me, I looked at these angels, 
they were black and their original forms of angels disappeared and gave place to monsters of horrifying aspects, I suddenly saw them become locusts, their appearances were as described in Revelation 9 to 7 8 and the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared under battle, and on their heads were as it were crowns like gold, and their faces were as the faces of men, and they had hair as the hair of women, and their teeth were as the teeth of lions, I had never witnessed devils so terrible. The angel said, These are the grasshopper angels who will be loosed to torment the earth, Satan will receive the key of that place and will lead this army and release these creatures to harm humanity, I said, There the earth will be like a living hell when these creatures go up there, then the fifth angel sounded his trumpet, and I saw a star that had fallen from heaven to earth, and it was given the key to the pit of the abyss, the star opened the pit of the abyss, and smoke rose out of it like the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by the smoke from the pit, and out of the smoke, locusts descended on the earth, and they were given power like that of the scorpions of the earth, the angel showed me an angel who was trapped in the chains. This angel turned into a dragon with several heads. The angel said, That is the beast who will be the Antichrist on earth. The angel showed me a part of the abyss where there was no angel trapped, a vast, dark and dangerous place, prepared for someone. The angel said, This place is where Satan will be trapped for a thousand years. 